Paul, the fishbowl featuring Peninsula and Gig Harbor had it all. Big plays on offense and defense, a big comeback, a big crowd. It was an overtime thriller, and already some football fans in this area are calling it maybe the greatest fishbowl of all time. The Peninsula and Gig Harbor fans were once again packing the house, and while the tides were taking the field, I was showing the Gig Harbor dance team some of my old school moves. Oh, oh. That's called the robot, Paul Sylvie. Colin Montgomery also has some moves. He makes the catch, takes a hit, and scores 7-0 Gig Harbor. Gig Harbor linebacker and receiver Hudson Cedarland committed to Washington State. Tonight, the future Coug shows off his running skills. He's in for six. The Tides brought their hard hats to the game tonight, 21-0. The Cougs recruited Cedarland as a linebacker, but he's also a pretty good receiver. Will Landrum to Cedarland. He's gone 78 yards for a touchdown, 28-0 Gig Harbor at the half. Second half and the momentum shifts to Peninsula. Seahawks senior running back Ethan Hogan scores. It's now 28-14. Gig Harbor in scoring position, but Ethan Fias makes maybe the play of the night for Peninsula. Picks it off, gone. 86 yards for the pick six. It's now 28-21. With 5.59 to go, the lights went off, but the party continued in the stands. Lights back on, and so too was Hogan. He scores again, and we are headed to overtime. In the OT, guess who? Yep, it is Hogan with his third touchdown, and then the defense stops the tides. Peninsula wins a thriller, 35 to 28. We worked as a team, we played 11 rounds one. We ran it down the field, we shoved it right down their throat. How good does this feel? It feels amazing! What a comeback for the Seahawks. Make that six straight fishbowl victories for Peninsula. They also now lead the overall series 22-21. to From Roy Anderson Field, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.